Spanish city. It is day four of competition and we've had ten matches and another two to come here. Second round clashes it is today. So next up is women's singles and it's the former champion, the number seven seed Ratchanuk Intanon up against Ipui Yin from Hong Kong, China. So when we look at this section of the draw, this is the last match to be concluded. Lena Christofferson uh, had a very easy ride because uh, the number 11 seed Busanan Ongbang Rangpan retired after just two minutes. And in the bottom half of this little section, uh, you can see that Zhang Yiman had a walkover because the two-time former finalist and former champion Nozomi Okuhara, the number three seed, sadly not here in Welva. So this the former champion, two-time medalist, in fact, Varachino Kintanon was a gold medalist at the Guangzhou World Championships in 2013. So this will be a 17th meeting between these two players. And as you can see, Arachinik Intanon has won 13 of the previous 16 matches. Uh, but I think what's more important is the fact that Arachinik Intanon has won the last 13 encounters between these two players. In fact, you have to go back to 2011 since the last time that Yip Hui Yin actually beat her opponent of today. So going back 10 years, I'm not convinced that the 34-year-old from Hong Kong, China can replicate that sort of form. So Rachnok, gold medalist, eight years ago, bronze medalist, two years ago at the last World Championships in Basel. Ipui Yin, 34 years of age, born in Sha Tin in Hong Kong, China. Did spend one week at number eight in the world, and that was from the 13th of January 2011. So we are talking 10 years ago, 65 on the world rankings at the moment. Beat uh, Kristin Kuba of Estonia in the first round. And this her first tournament for very nearly two years. I, in all honesty, thought she had already retired. But of course, it's so difficult to tell with the global pandemic and very few tournaments what players are still competing and training which have uh, slipped into retirement. Rachana Kintanon is 26 years of age and she is a former world number one, two weeks as world number one, but number eight at the moment. She is the only player from Thailand to medal at the World Championships in the women's singles discipline. And by virtue of the fact that she is the number seven seed, she had a bye in the first round. She's played 10 tournaments this year, one final. She reached the final of the Indonesia Super 1000 event where she lost to Unsi Young, the young Korean player. Ready to play! So Corey Cornelia Schroeder of Germany, who was the service judge in the last match, is our umpire for this one. Harriet Sumangabi of Uganda is the service judge for this women's singles. So Yip Hui Yin has had a very successful year in the past. Seven times at the World Championships, she's reached the third round, the last 16. She has two medals from the Asian Games, a silver in Doha in 2006 when she lost out to Wang Chen. 
of Hong Kong, having beaten the world Ladies number one, Dan Ning, in the quarter-final right, stage. Ratchanok and Dalon, Thailand. And on my left, Yip Pu Yin, Hong Kong, China. Ratchanok and Dalon to serve. Lavo, play. So Ratchanok and Dalon, the two-time world championship medalist and former world champion. Three times world junior champion. The first player ever to win three world junior titles. One lock. Number seven seed this year, this lady. Well, I should knock into none. And I was telling you over. that Ipu Yin has twice been an Asian Games medalist, not only that silver medal in Doha, but a bronze medal four years later in Guangzhou when she lost to Wang Shixian, who went on to take the gold medal. That's well judged. It's a nice round the head smash straight down the line from Ratchana. Didn't make it to the World Tour Finals, Ratchana, despite finishing the HSBC BWF World Tour, ranked number seven. She was actually the fourth ranked player in the women's singles from Thailand, and you're only allowed two players Three, from one nation two. in the World Tour Finals, only eight players qualify. Uh, it was a very tough call. Oh, that's one off. Oh. Well, that was the sideline judge actually indicated out. That's Five, ridiculous. Three. It was so far in on the sideline. It was great length as far as depth was concerned. Well, thankfully, the umpire just ignored the line judge. Well, there's a challenge here from Ipuyin. I saw that as just wide. it was. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Six, three. Play. Oh, look at those delightful skills from Ratchnock into not. Seven, three. Gloriously relaxed, easy hitting motion. Balletic movement around the court. Oh, that's fabulous. What disguise on the punch clear from Ratchan and Kintanon.
big lock. Oh, this, at the moment, is a bit of a masterclass from the former world champion. Well, you Pui Yin was always known as a great runner and a great retriever. I don't think I've watched her play for quite a few years, but Laura Chinook is just out manoeuvring her. Four errors like that. There's Ratchnook's coach, Patipal Bunchushuk. Lucky neck cord for Ipui Yin. Big game interval. The former champion with a six point advantage here in the opening game. the advantage. A yeah, very Six, athletic player 11. is Ipui Yin. first world championships was back in 2005 in Anaheim and she lost in the third round the last 16 to Jan Ling who went on to win the silver medal good defense I said she was a runner crikey Wonderful, wonderful Five, angle. Six. And the, the racket preparation for that shot is absolutely no different. You see the clear there? Now watch the racket preparation for this one. Oh, well, unfortunately we didn't see it. Both looked exactly the same in the preparation, but two totally different Seven shots. Solver. done it. Eight, 
So, Miss Sarah. So, it's over. That's a gift. Great net shot. Sixteen. Set up the rally. Yep, well played. Well, oh, she's just absolutely cruising at the moment. It's Rachel or Kinton on. Eighteen. Eight. Look at that. Delightful. Oh, reverse slice from the net to play the winner. Eight. As disguise, and it also keeps the shuttle straight. Yeah, hitting winners at will, and it's. A whole host of game point eight. opportunities for the former world champion, Arachinuk Intanon. Oh, that was going wide, you know. Another delightful drop eight. from the Ties racket. 21-8 opening game to the number First seven seed Rachel Intanon. 21-8. Opening game, 13 minutes. And she looks very much in control. Well, she's on the prowl, is Ipuyin. Hard one, 20 seconds. Hard one, 20 seconds. Second game. So the former champion won game to the good, 21-8 that opening game in double quick time.
missed it. Service over. Two, one. I'm not sure that Ipui Yin trusts her running capabilities the way that she used to. Looks shots like that look to me as if she's under feels under pressure to play a winner rather than to work her opponent. That's landed uh, just out, so there's a, a challenge here from Ratchnook. Once again, the line judge very hesitant. Just unnerves the players, unsettles them. Here we go. Yep, good challenge. going out. Look at that beauty. The little hold and flick from the net Four, from Rajna Kintanon. She's got a beautiful cross-court net shot as well from that position. And it's the variety of shot that she has that opponents know and therefore because every shot the preparation for the shot looks exactly the same you can't tell what she's coming there was the cross court net shot and now look at that reverse slice straight down the line how can you possibly tell what's coming Well, I said early on it was a masterclass. What's better than a masterclass? I don't know. But it's absolutely sublime. Look at that. Even I was going the wrong way in my commentary chair. Let's go wide. The problem for Ipui Yin is Seven, that two. she hasn't got any any weapons to really start hurting Rachinok Intanon. How do you put your opponent under pressure when they're hitting winners at will? You don't have the same level of skill to be able to challenge some of that and outmaneuver. Hey your opponent by your own deceptive shots it then becomes very very difficult Yin is going to have to rely on 
wearing down her opponent. Well judged. It was a challenge the here. Boy and challenges called out. I fear that will be a wasted challenge. position yeah. Hong Kong player couldn't recover So to the mid-game interval, seven-point advantage here in the second game for the number seven seed, Rajanuk Intanon. So 11 for the advantage and appears to be cruising at the moment. Twelve four. Well, a twelfth world championship appearance, twelfth consecutive for Ipui Yin is pretty special, but I don't think that she will be progressing this second round match. No, oh, that's a nice rally though. Maybe I've spoken too Stay soon. Over. Six 
now that's more positive play from if we in Oh, that's a beauty. Lovely shots from Ian. Four straight points. Oh, what a wonderful backhand. A cute angle. 14, nine. All about placement. And she had her back to the net. As you do when you play a high backhand like that. Great spatial awareness. Great save. I'm not wholly convinced 15, that Ipoi Yin needed to retrieve that one down her backhand side. I think it was going wide. I'm not sure we'll see from this angle. That one. I think she could have left it. May have gone wide. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, that was going wide. It was going wide. She should have left it. Looks very relaxed as we're actually looking tonight. In fact, I'm having a quick glance across to the mixed doubles on court number two. She's not really been asked too many difficult questions today. Why don't you look? lift. This is a good rally. Oh yes. 11, 16. Oh, you can never accuse Ipui Yin for lack of effort. Oh, clever. Yeah, going for the body smash. 12, 
very, very nice play indeed. And now only four points in it. Eight points adrift just a moment ago. 5.13. That's a beauty. Just inside the sideline there. 17, 12. 18, 12. Just too much firepower from this lady. Too many winning shots for her opponent to cope with. Match point opportunities. 20, match point 12. Oh, oh super okay. to end the match. Outright winner on the drop shot from the action of Kintanon. Uh, gracious as always. Next one, why I've done on and done on. Well, 21 8, 21 12. Very nice way to start her World Championship campaign. Looked in total control throughout the match. Just 33 minutes for the victory. Look at that beautiful slow drop shot to end the match and Ipui Yin left absolutely stranded so the former champion two time medalist Rachna Kintanon little wave to us thank you Rachna lovely to see her playing well confirmation of that score line 21 8 21 12. So up next, our last match of the day. It's mixed doubles. It's the number 11 seeds, Lampsfus and Lohau, are uh, against Fudin Ansia and Kani of Indonesia.
so and welcome back to Welva and the Palacio de los Dubores, Carolina Marin, the venue for the Total Energies BWF World Badminton Championships 2021. The 26th staging of the World Championships and it's the third time the World Championships have been staged here in Spain. One more match to come today on day four of competition, and it is mixed doubles. And the number 11 seeds, Mark Lansford, 